from spending far too much money to joining lines you don't really have to. These are the 10 things people do on a cruise that make zero sense. Ahoy there, we're Ben and David. Make sure you subscribe to us right now by hitting that subscribe button. And if you're liking this content, make sure you give the video a like. Number one, queuing at guest services especially for a bill to see how much you've spent. Most cruise lines, you can do this on your phone using the app from the cruise line or on the stateroom TV. But people still line for ages, especially on the last day. So if you do want to check your bill and how much you've spent, do it this way or even just call down to guest services to ask how much you've spent. It's so much better than lining all day long, especially on the last day as we said. And if you've got an issue or complaint, again call from your stateroom phone. It's much quicker than waiting in long lines. And if you do really have to go to guest services, avoid doing this on the first day of the cruise and especially on the last day. And if you do have to go on the last day, try earlier in the day in the morning before it gets busy but we have no idea why we always see long queues for the guest services it's such a waste of your precious vacation time so this is one to definitely avoid number two and this is one that really bugs us standing in front of the elevator doors and not letting people out this is one that we see all of the time and we just can't understand it why do people stand directly in front of the elevator doors most of the time somebody wants to get out on your deck so then you've got to awkwardly shuffle backwards and stand back to let them out and we also see people pushing their way into elevators as well in front of other people. Just be patient and wait your turn. It's not hard. Number three, this is something we see every cruise, but everybody rushing to get off the ship first in port by the tender or the walkway. Just wait and relax. Have your breakfast first and let the rush of traffic get off first. You'll find people pushing and shoving to get off first. And we've even seen crowded stairways and hallways jam-packed full of people pushing and shoving trying to get off and it's happened to us we've been stuck in the hallway and the stairway before whilst we are waiting for clearance to be given for passengers to start disembarking in the port honestly it is so much more civilized to wait and relax than walk off with no lines no rush and no hassle lovely so number four is cutting lines at the buffet. Ooh, this makes us very angry. Just don't do it. And it happens so much. We have especially seen this on European cruise lines such as MSC. For some reason, they think it's perfectly fine to walk right in front of you and cut in the line in front of you. There's only one way to combat this. Tell the person off, say no and back off. I was in the queue first. So rude. It just makes absolutely no sense at all. Just wait your time and be a nice, respectful person. Number five, we don't understand this one, but sneaking on booze when you have the unlimited drinks package. Just why would you do this? You can literally drink as much as you want. You are wasting your own money for no reason. And bringing on drinks that you shouldn't be is also against the rules. You could get your booze taken off from you, or even worse, you could be denied boarding. It's not worth the risk, and it's extra carry-on when you don't need to even bring it on. Number six, this one definitely makes no sense. People not washing their hands after using the bathroom. What's the reason for this? Well, it's called laziness. Not only is it disgusting, but it's dangerous too. You will be spreading germs and you could even cause an outbreak of illness on board. We have seen this so many times. Fully grown men just walking out of bathrooms after doing their business and not washing their hands. This is really poor. Just wash your hands, please. Number seven, as a photographer myself, this makes absolutely no sense. People spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on photographs. We can't understand this one. The onboard photographers are not even professional photographers. They use cameras that are cheaper than most iPhones, plus they are super staged as well. Who wants to stand awkward in a staged photo? Most of these are taken in front of fake backgrounds. Just go outside where the real background is and they are much more amazing. And take the photos yourself using your smartphone or camera. 
it looks so much more natural and pleasant to look at. You are capturing the actual memories you're having on the cruise rather than a staged photo in front of a cloth. I just don't understand this. Number eight, buying art or expensive things from the onboard shops. Well, just don't do this without checking the price on land first. So many people are taken in by the big duty free and sale signs all around, but most of the time the price is highly inflated in the first place. So you probably won't be getting 50% off that watch or perfume that you have your eye on. We always check on Amazon or stores at home just to check to see we are actually getting a bargain. When at an art auction, don't be taken in with the free champagne and bubbly. If you get too tipsy, you will make bad decisions. Again, check the price on land first. We can't understand why people just throw money away for no reason at all. Number nine, and we just don't think this makes any sense, but being rude to crew members. We know sometimes you can be having a bad day, things are not going to plan, or even crew members can be having a bad day, but there is absolutely no reason at all to be rude. Crew are there to make you happy, and if you are nice to them, it will go so much further in them helping you with your problem. If you shout at them or demand things from them, they will not want to help you at all. They are there to make sure your cruise runs as smoothly and safely as possible. Don't forget they work very hard, very long hours and have very little time off. Kindness will go so much further. We've even heard guests scream at the crew for bad weather and bumpy seas. Yes, they can't control this. It makes no sense at all. Yelling at them will make them feel worse and you will not feel any better. It will make you look like a jerk to the rest of the passengers all around you. Listen to crew members and do what they tell you. They are doing it to keep you safe. Please be nice. And don't forget, if you have a great crew member on your cruise, make sure you let somebody know. You can pop their name down in the end of cruise questionnaire, or you can even send a tweet or message to the cruise line online. And finally, number 10, take advantage of loyalty club benefits. Each and every time you cruise on a certain cruise line, you will go up on their loyalty scheme. But we have seen so many people and ourselves not use the benefits. These benefits can include free drinks every day, free laundry and discounts on dining and other things. Always check what level you are and what benefits you are entitled to and what things you can get for free or at a reduced price. Some lines even give you a discount when booking a new cruise, so make sure you check all of these details out. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and please give us a subscribe. It really helps us out. And thank you so much to all of our patrons. You guys are incredible. We thank you so much. We give you live shows. We give you Zoom shows, extra behind the scenes footage and episodes, as well as postcards whilst we are away. Our captain of the week is Amy. So ahoy there, Amy. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.